Hello, this is John uh, at a beach rental here, Life by the Sea. Just want to give you a quick video how to use our ArcStream app for all your live TV shows. All our TVs have the uh, Fire Stick on them, and they're all smart TVs. I've got, uh, they're usually, if you scroll to uh, HDMI 2, you'll find the, uh, the Fire Stick. So here's the home screen. You've got Netflix up here, a lot of the other base uh, uh, apps already downloaded. I use uh, ArcStream for all my uh, live TV. So it's on the recently uh, used apps. You can see that there's Disney, Netflix. You're going to use ArcStream. Don't use the one with the white background. Go to the one with the blue background. We highlight it, hit the toggle switch in the middle. I should have showed you that. Now you get to this point. You see uh, movies, series, but really you just want to use live TV. The white box is around the whole part of live TV. I take my toggle switch down where it's under update. I highlighted that. Now I'm going to hit the middle. Okay, so it updates it. This gives you over 2,000 channels. It's a little fickle, but it does give you all the channels uh, for your local uh, uh, channels, uh, news, and everything else, no matter where you are in the U.S., plus uh, all the other cable channels. Now it updated. The box is around the whole live TV. I hit the middle toggle switch again. Now it brings up uh, categories. If you want to watch soccer, uh, movie channels, sports, you can highlight it and just take you to those. Otherwise, you, I like to go to all. At the minute after you highlighted it, uh, you use the toggle switch in the middle. And you can see there's uh, US, uh, five stars max, A&E, ABC East Coast, AccuWeather. Uh, it goes down the line there in alphabetical order. Or you could go back, or uh, basically you're just moving the toggle switch here to what you want. Um, I don't know, I'm in real estate, so I tend to watch DIY and HGTV a lot. These can be fickle, and some of them do freeze. That's why I say there's some issues with this. So I don't want you getting too frustrated. If uh, something's not working, go on to the next. Um and to the right, you'll see it shows you what channels. It's uh, time's a little bit behind. Actually, it's not. Uh, they caught up. But here's DIY. I'll click on it, and there it comes. Uh, now it comes up. If this is what you want as a preview, Let's turn the volume down. If this is what you want, then hit it again, and it uh, pulls up the channel. Um, you want a different channel, I usually manually just back out and it pulls it up. Let me go to HGTV because usually this will freeze up on me so I can show you what to do. See now it's going, looking for the channel. It's not quick like regular cable, it can be frustrating. Um, uh, it's working now. Because what happens is if one channel freezes, I usually back out, go to the next channel, and uh, watch that, then come back, and it should link it up. Otherwise, you may have to go back out to that starting menu and update it again. Let's try it again. Everything seems to be working great this morning. But you can also search if you know which channel. Look, I just went to the TV, then up to the show icon. If I knew what I wanted to watch, let's see. I put in D I Y. Now I pulled it up, just that one. So you're not scrolling through 2,000 channels. Then I used my toggle switch to come down. And there it comes.
You can now back up to get all the channels. But like I said, if something freezes up on you, just uh, switch back or otherwise there is a trick on here. But none of them are freezing right now. But you, this way you get all your home channels, premium channels. Uh, it's a lot better as far as that goes. It just sometimes it's fickle uh, to use. Let's see if FYI works. Seems to be working great this morning. Maybe they updated the servers. Because what else I do is, if it's frozen, when the channel comes up, I go up to multi-screens. And I hit the first one. You can pick more than one screen, but I don't know why you'd want to. But this, like, reloads it. I know this is getting too complicated. And you're like, why do I even want to watch this TV? Ah, see, the screen didn't load. But if I back up, it's here. Well, that's a quick overview on uh, the ArcStream app. And if you want to get out, you could just hit the, the home button. And this will take you back, back here. I hope this helps. It's kind of a long video, but I want to make sure people know how to use it because it can get frustrating. But this does give you all the channels, live TV as it's happening, if you want your local channels. Um, we're from Philly, so I got the Fox Philly saved under my favorites. So it comes up, and now I could hit this. See, it's reading 8.50, and it's really 10.50 now. So that's the issue. This service is based out of California. And they're on California time. There's no way to update that. So when you're looking at uh, what shows are on, you got to look at the appropriate time, I guess. But this is Philly. Thanks a lot. Hope you're enjoying your stay. I've got this ArcStream app on this TV in the living room and the master bedroom. Um, all but the kids' room should have it. Uh, if you have questions, uh, text or reach out to me. My number's in our uh, welcoming manual. Hope you're having a great trip. Take care.